What's up guys, it's your boy Dama. Welcome back to Dama Cause before we get into the video, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Don to get the most consistent NBA uploads. Let's get it. So I watched all the all the games yesterday. Well most of them at least. And um my my Nets advanced to the you know to the semifinals. We might lose to the Bucks. I'm doing I'm gonna do a video on that later. We might lose to the Bucks though. Um the Lakers, abysmal, abysmal game by the Lakers. I was shocked by what the manner the Lakers were taking care of. Like, I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting Miami Heat, LeBron versus the Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals, LeBron. I mean, I feel like almost everybody was expecting that type of LeBron, but no, that wasn't the LeBron we saw today, even though he did hit a couple of good shots. He had like, a, uh, he hit a couple of threes. I forgot what he uh finished with. Let me see, hold up. But... You know, it's crazy to think that the Lakers got handled in that such of a manner. You know, Chris Paul going down with that shoulder contusion. You know, and this was sad. This was a sad outing for the Lakers. And with Anthony Davis out, that really showed a di that really made a difference. And I feel like to me, even if Anthony Davis was in, the Suns would have like still won. It would have been closer, but the Suns would have still won, in my opinion. And reason being, that defense the Suns were putting, they were doing like a zone defense. Because they, for some reason, the shooters, the shooters on the Lakers weren't even shooting the ball. And when they were shooting the ball, they was just missing. You know, Wesley Matthews has like an open three, I think. He airballs it. And then, you know, like, it, it was crazy. Like, the shooters weren't even shooting. You know, the shooters weren't even shooting. And um, um, they were, like, basically daring the Lakers to shoot, that knowing that the Lakers like shooting wise aren't that good you know and they set up a wall in that in that like mid-range uh key area bro and they set up a wall that meant lebron couldn't drive as easily as he wanted to and that means the lakers offense was basically shut down see i feel like the suns have the lakers number they have lebron's number and i forgot what player said it was very easy to stop lebron i think they did I think they technically kind of did stop LeBron or contain him. Even though LeBron was hitting those threes, they still contained LeBron. They were able to contain LeBron. And if you're able to contain a Le LeBron in a seven game series, and if you can do that consistently, it's over. And it's over for LeBron in my opinion. And just to think that this, this was this Lakers team. Well, it's not even the same Lakers team because Dwight Howard's gone. Rajon Rondo's gone. JaVale McGee is gone. Um, Avery Bradley is gone. Basically, everybody who had a key had a key part in the playoffs last season is gone. Especially Rajon Rondo, playoff Rondo. You know that, that he's gone. He's playing for the Clippers now. It, it's crazy to think about that, man. It's crazy. And to be honest with you, when I saw those guys leave LA and go to like Philadelphia, uh, Atlanta, the Nuggets, I said, oh yeah, the Lakers might not even win the championship this year because these guys had defense. And also, one thing I forgot to mention, the paint defense. Dwight Howard would have been very good for the paint defense this, uh, last game, this game. Because campaign, literally every single player on the Suns was eating on the inside. Pause. They were eating the paint up. You know, campaign blowing by uh, Mark Gasol. Mark Gasol can't even jump the block the shot. You know, campaign got an easy lay. Devin Booker got an easy lay. Um, uh, DeAndre Ayton easy dunk easy lay like it, it it's bad it's bad it's really bad and i feel like game six all depends on if um if he if um what's his name anthony davis is gonna be healthy now as i said i didn't think the game this game would have been different if anthony davis wasn't injured if anthony davis wasn't injured i feel like the late suns would have still won but dog i don't really want to see lebron go out sad and LeBron's going to leave in the fourth quarter for whatever reason, possibly his ankle. I mean, the game was already out of reach. You know, the game was already out of reach. They were down by 30. It was nothing they could do. You know, there was nothing they could do. And really, this was a sad outing by the uh, Lakers. And I don't know if they can bounce back from this. They're in trouble. You know, and just to think this team won the championship last season. And that kind of, I guess it shows how big, the, how crazy the bubble effect can be. You know, as we've seen the, the Miami Heat get bounced out of the fourth round via sweep, you know, I feel like if the bubble didn't exist, that would have happened against them in the 
in the in, uh, against the Bucks, even though the Bucks are a better team now. The Bucks are a substantially better team by the addition of Drew Holiday, and in my opinion, there is a legitimate big three in um, Milwaukee: Giannis, Middleton, and Drew. Drew is the X factor. And I feel like he's going to be an X factor for the series, especially the uh, offensive rebounding against my Nets. But I'll get into that in the next video. And on Twitter, I've seen so many people talking about this uh, game. You know, everybody putting the bubble guppy song. Hey, if you don't follow me on Twitter, go ahead and follow me on Twitter real quick. You know, also my Instagram, 100. But I don't think the Lakers can come back. I mean, shoot, never count LeBron out, but... <sighs> Even with LeBron on the floor, they had like a 20 some to one run. So this this right here isn't really looking good for the Lakers. And I'm sorry to all the Lakers fans, you know, all Lakers fans who even diehard Lakers fans, especially Snoop, especially Snoop Dogg. I'm sorry for you, bro. I feel sorry for you. But um, for real, though, tell me your thoughts about this for real, because I feel like the Lakers not coming back from this. And if they do, you can come back to this video and roast me in the comments Uh, for real. So if you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Don. Um, if you like the video, like it. How can you like a video and not like it? And um, God bless. Peace out, 100.